probably wondered what those supposedly impressive paintings are. And these, well, these are nationalist propaganda from the start of the 20th century. Basically, the Kaiser, the German uh, ruler, decided to show that, well, even the Teutonic Knights were Germans and everything they did was German. And especially, if you pay attention to the paintings, that the Germans always played the first, uh, first role here. They were always in the forefront. So as you can see, well, yes, there is a Teutonic Knight, but he's probably dying or dead. And the uh, uh, German ruler here, as you can see by the crown, and his uh, shield is on the forefront of the scene here. This supposedly shows the first great battle uh, by the Teutonic Order, first great one battle by the river Jezgon or Sirgunda. Uh, it's, it was supposed to break the uh, initial resistance of the Prussian people to Teutonic invasion. The second painting slightly obscured by this impressive drone, more of that later, is showing the uh, German princess, of course, sponsoring boats that brought even more Teutonic Knights to Prussia. And this also symbolizes the founding of the city of Elbog, which was the main port of the Teutonic Order for a long time. And here we see the third painting showing relief for the um, for the important castle of Bahoga, which was halfway between Marburg and uh, Königsberg, Królewitz in Polish. So, as you can see, who is um, uh, doing the relief part? Of course, a German ruler. The third painting shows the Bohemian or Czech king Przemysl Otokar II, or for our English speaking people who don't want to break their tongues, King Otokar II, uh, founding the city of Königsberg. Founding is a, well, high handed way of uh, saying it. He basically took part in a crusade. And after his uh, warriors helped the Teutonic Knights to uh, basically conquer that part of Prussia, they founded a castle there and it was built into a large city named in his honor. The fourth scene here shows the Teutonic Knights in the background <laughs> and of course the German uh, rulers calling the last Prussian uprising and basically cementing the Teutonic rule in Prussia. This ended really badly for the Prussians. What was left of them? We have something like 300 words of their language left most of them names of families and places. So they were basically militarily and culturally genocided by the Teutonic Knights. Yes, the order was not a very nice organization. They wanted land, so they took it. So as you can see, colonization isn't new to, uh, to the history of the world. It isn't especially anything that was started during the, colon the, the, the era of the great discoveries. The sixth and last painting, well, this shows you the nationalistic propaganda in its own glory. You can see here cementing of the order's rule in Prussia. The Holy Roman Emperor handing the 
grandmaster a golden bowl. Well, it was bowl because uh, the same was uh, previously handed to the grandmaster by the Pope, and they basically said the same: whatever you manage to conquer belongs to you, and nobody in the Christian lands can uh, can conquer those uh, counter those claims. And as the name suggests, it was Bo. They basically were granted land that they never had any rights to, but that's how it works. <laughs>